So to sit your Lebanon and Lana, Brandlin Callis, Stacey Andrews, Iceland, Eli, Kelsey Blackburn, and shooting a second free throw, Brooks, which is up and good. 16 to 7 your score with less than 20 seconds to go, and there's a terrible pass that <laughs> time by Heather Frazier as she tried to hit Bowman on the run, and Bowman with alligator arms on that particular pass turns it over to Lebanon. It will be their ball underneath their own basket with 19.8 seconds to go here in the first quarter and up by nine at 16 to 7. Good to see somebody make terrible passes besides our team. Oh, I tell you, sweet. Oh, great inbounds pass that time as Callis found Andrews cutting down the lane. Her layup is up and good, and Lebanon stretches the lead to 11 at 18 to 7. There's that full court pressure. Callis cuts him off. Blackburn almost a steal. Instead, all the way across to Bowman. There's Locke wide open on the baseline. Deflected out of bounds. Great play by Iceland Eli. It was, it was Brooks that came in from the blind side and slapped it out of her hands when she started up with it. And I thought it was off a lot, but they'll give it back to Warren County with 5.8 seconds left. Great interior defense once again. They have to go all the way out high to Frazier. She penetrates with two seconds left. Her short jumper rolls around no good. Iceland Eli with the rebound, and that's it for the fourth quarter. The first one's in the books. Here Campbell Branded Gymnasium and the Devil Let's lead the visiting Lady Pioneers of Warren County 18-7. to You're listening to Lebanon High School Basketball on WANT FM 98.9 WCOR AM 1490. We'll be back in 30 seconds. The Lady Pioneers jumped into that full court pressure a couple times and got a couple turnovers as well, but Lebanon playing extremely well offensively tonight, and Clyde, the turnovers have not been there early. Let's hope that's a trend that continues. Here's Crystal House out high, guarded closely by Brooke Bowman. And Warren County in an extremely unusual zone. They're going to patrol that middle. Here's Andrews on the right wing. She'll penetrate, drive to the right side of the lane. A little 12-footer up and good. So Stacey Andrews strikes again. And Lebanon with a rare offensive output of 20 points. And we're just barely underway. Well, another steal. And there's Andrews. Her shot is up and no good, but she's fouled. And Clyde, you touched on it just a moment ago. That full court pressure has given the Lady Pioneers of Warren County all kinds of trouble. Well, it is. And uh, Stacey Andrews will go to the free throw line now for two. You know, it's so strange how you're Shooters get confidence off of layups, but if you make a couple of layups, you're prone to make some outside jumpers as well. Andrews' first free throw bounces around no good. They've got to do better from the free throw line, though. Well, we're four out of seven right now. If they could hit it a 75% clip, they and might Andrews. be able to pull this one out. Andrews with another shot coming. Second one up and good. So 21-7. to seven. A Super Bowl score, and there's another steal by Crystal House. Is that pass too tall for Bowman? She'll take it straight to the hole, up and off the glass, no good. Goes in there for her own rebound, but Heather Frazier controls it for Warren County. And Lebanon's still able to set up in a bit of a full court pressure. There's McKenna Ray into the front court, and Brooks. Oh, that's foul. Brooks. Boy, if McKenna Ray. into her a little bit there. If she had not spun when she did, Brooks would have picked her pocket clean, but Ray with a fortuitous turn that time and Brooks got her with the body for Brooks first foul only the second team foul on Lebanon relatively foul free here in the first half four on Warren County two on Lebanon Frazier got the inbounds gets it back to McKenna Ray Ray guarded by Callis when they had Bowman open momentarily far side there's LaVoy no place to go London Eli all over her Back out front, there's Brittany Frazier down in the corner of McKenna Ray, acrobatic catch on that pass, tries to go down low to LaVoy and batted away by Eli and controlled by Brooks. Boy, Lebanon all over Warren County here defensively. Callis short baseline jumper is good. So Lebanon attacking the basket with frequency and success here early with 6.44 to go. They're up on the Lady Pioneers of Warren County, 23 to seven. Here into the front court, Brittany Frazier feeds near side to Bowman. She shuffled the feed as she faked the three and took off before she dribbled. Well, Lady Pioneers just full of mistakes tonight, aren't they? I'll tell you what, they look a lot different than the team we saw at their place earlier in the year. Well, they're Bowman. not getting all that scoring from that low post that they got up there. <laughs> no, they're not. Coach Dillegar with great adjustments since that previous game. Bowman goes to the bench and back into the game. It's going to be Patterson. Patterson picks up the assignment on Callis. There's one of those silly passes we were talking about as Callis just flat threw it away. Crystal House zigged. Callis thought she zagged. Turnover gives it back to Warren County. Lebanon up 23 to seven. Three touchdowns and a safety. Here's Ray. Long shot from the right side. Would have been a two, but it's no good. And Marshall lets it go harmlessly out of bounds. Goes back to the Devilettes. Boy, Clyde, what energy off that Devilette bench tonight. Everybody's well, it is. Marshall really playing that smart, too, letting that one go instead of trying to. And she cuts in front of Locke to get the pass. She's into the front court. They've got numbers. She'll drive down, dump it down to London Eli. Boy, on the arm. That time, Heather Frazier, no call. One of our favorite officials on that baseline, unable to see that foul. 
<laughs> so it goes out of bounds to Lebanon. Here's Callis in the corner to Marshall. Long three-pointer. That one deflected a little bit. Eli to clean it up or put back up and good and a foul. Boy, the Devilettes have come to play on the offensive end tonight. That'll stretch their lead to 18 and Eli with the chance to bump it to 19. My goodness, seven points on the board for Warren County and there's six minutes to go in the first half. Lebanon already up to 25. The chance to increase that as Eli shoots her free throw. It's up and good. So London Eli with a big three-point play. Andrews checks in. Callis back to the bench for Lebanon. Lebanon with you. five now. Boy, they are playing so good in interior offensively and defensively. Marshall, Brooks, London Eli, Crystal House, and Stacey Andrews on the floor for the Devilettes. Here's Ray in the front court. Feeds left side to Heather Frazier. There's Ray. She'll spin back across. Feed right side to Patterson. Penetrates. Kicks out high. Long three-pointer. Top of the key that time. Not a particularly good shot by Brittany Frazier. Go rebound to Warren County. There's Ray from a three-pointer from the right side. That one's good. Boy, that one's bottom of the net. So McKenna Ray answers back. But here's Lebanon with numbers in the front court. Amanda Locke cuts off Ebony Marshall. And she's going to get called for that every time. So Amanda Locke on a reach-in. And that is That's number six, six fouls on the, on the visitors, and I've been asleep here somewhere because I don't have that many doubts. It's been an entertaining game. It's been an entertaining ball game. I've been watching the game. We don't normally get to do that, do we? No, we don't. Here's Andrews on the baseline. There's that 2-3 zone out of bounds. Oh, great tip that time. Wasn't intended for Eli, but her shot is no good. And jump ball, possession arrow, Warren County, Crystal House, and Heather Frazier with an extremely intense tie ball that time. Is set to check back in Iceland, Eli. Checking out for the Devilettes will be London. So Eli for Eli, and Lebanon leads 26-10 with 5.34 left in the first half. Full court pressure once again by the Devilettes. They're not guarding the ball. And Ray gets it to Frazier and then back to Ray. And it looks like Jasmine Brooks with a bit of a bump in the backcourt, and they're going to call her for the foul. That's two on Brooks. And only the third team foul on Lebanon, so they've been playing great defense without fouling. Inbounds in the backcourt. Ray to Lock back to Ray, and the near side to Patterson, all the way across to Frazier. Frazier in the front court. They're going to call her reach in as she jumped across the jump circle. Crystal House trying to punch it free. May have gotten the arm a little bit. Well, I shouldn't have said anything about fouls. There's two quick ones on the Devilettes. And here's the old picket fence out of bounds play. Hadn't seen this in a while. Heather Frazier set the inbounds here near side, three quarters court. No place to go with it. Boy, almost a steal and was by Crystal House. She's one-on-one -on -one in the open court with Brittany Frazier. She'll take it straight to the hole up and good. Should have gotten the foul, but didn't, but got the basket by any means. Four for House. And there's Ray along that wing. Way up ahead is Amanda Locke. Wide open for layup, up and good. So they got numbers that time. The double team did not work as Locke broke free. Locke with five, leading Warren County. Now here's a two-on-one for Lebanon. She gets it across to Eli. Bad pass, but Eli still somehow tips it out there to Andrews. So the Devilettes still with control in 415 counting here in the first half and up by 16 at 28-12. There's Callis. Boy, they're just really getting sloppy on that perimeter with their ball handling. Here's Callis, guarded by Amanda Locke, one of only four seniors on this Warren County squad. Here's Callis working on Locke. The five-second count is on. And I don't guess this official realizes that there's a penetration hash over here, and once you penetrate it, you have to start a fresh five-second, but the turnover gives it to Warren County. Here's Ray set the inbounds, gets it into Frazier, back to Ray. Full court pressure once again by Lebanon. There's the other Frazier, Brittany. And they're going to call Kelsey Blackburn with a reach in right in front of the Warren well, County All of a bench. sudden, they're calling everything now. Yeah, the ill wind blows, and the foul is called. London Eli will check back in, and she'll replace Iceland. So low post rotation continues for Coach Dillegard in the Devilette bench. There's that picket fence again. McKenna Ray gets it into Locke. Locke blows by House. Tries to dish it down low. Great dump down that time by Callis as she doubled out down there on Brittany Frazier. Up ahead to Andrews. Tried to get it down low. Blackburn with the rebound or the pass. And Eli almost had to rebound, but taken away by Heather Frazier. And Frazier gets it to Patterson, and here comes Warren County the other way. Up ahead, there's Brittany Frazier. Long three-pointer from the left side is good. So these Lady Pioneers can definitely hit them if you don't get out and put a hand in their face. Full court pressure again. And they're going to call a five-second call. Boy, that official can count to five fairly he can count to five accurately, quick, I guess. He's, he's pretty quick. 
So the turnover gives it back to Warren County and a chance to cut into this 13-point lead that Lebanon has amassed here with 3.57 to go in the first half. There's Amanda Lockout high, kicks in the corner to Ray. Long three-pointer right side is good. So McKenna Ray starting to heat up. Well, that's Gilligar three doesn't threes. Like it. Back in the ball game, 3.51 to play here in the second quarter. Lebanon leading 28 to 18. We'll be back in 30. Brittany Fraser and two threes by McKenna Ray has gotten the Lady Pioneers back on track now. They've hit their last three shots, Marvin. Uh, they were throwing up bombs there for a while, but now they started hitting the bucket, so the Devilette's going to have to continue to play well. Well, I think they figured out that Lebanon's going to shut down the inside game, so they're going to try to draw them out. Here's full court pressure again. Andrews gets it into Crystal House in the backcourt. She's guarded by Frazier. She'll blow right by her. That's a mismatch all night long. House stops top of the key. She'll work around, penetrate to the free throw line. Just inside a little jumper up and good. So Crystal House continues to be aggressive on the offensive end. Her little short jumper answers Stopped back. The bleeding. Boy, didn't it, though, and they needed that with the quickness. There's McKenna Ray across the jump circle. Deflected away. She walked about four steps, but the foul is going to be called after the walk. I just love this officiating crew. And we are in the presence of true greatness tonight as Tick Bryan is here filming. Above and beyond the call of duty. There's Ray in the right corner. She'll drive, penetrate, a little 12 footer on the baseline, no good. Backside rebound by Frazier. Her shot is up and good, but they're going to call it before the shot as someone jumped in the air. A great ball fake that time. London Eli is going to pick up the foul. So Heather Frazier, the senior sister, Brittany Frazier, just a sophomore, both in the game at the same time. And Heather Frazier to the line. Free throw bounces around, up and good. So shooters roll for Heather Frazier. They're two out of three at the line now. Cuts it back down to 11 at 30 to 19. Frazier's second free throw is up off the front of the arm. No good. And there's London Eli with the rebound. Feeds left wing to Andrews. They've got numbers if they hurry. She goes up ahead to Callis. Her little short jumper off the side of the arm. No good. Rebound to Frazier. And she walked. No call. Gets it over here to Brittany Frazier. Brittany in the front court. Great steal almost by Callis. She deflected out of bounds, though, in front of the bench. She gets a high five to Coach Dillegard. Well, that's a great place to do that. And McKenna Ray set the inbounds. Quarter court, far side, right in front of the Lebanon bench. She looks for a cutter, gets it to Patterson out high. Back to Ray. And Callis cuts her off that time and takes it away and gets it to Brooks. And this should be a speed mitch match with her and Patterson. And Patterson on the reach in before she got the layup, which is actually a pretty good foul for Warren County. And Jasmine Brooks looks like she might have hurt that knee just a little bit. So Brooks will go to the free throw line and shoot two. She's two of two from the free throw line. 11 and six out of nine so far. Boy, I just love to see Jasmine Brooks with that defensive intensity. And when she's in open court, she's hard to stop. Free throw in and out, no good. Rebound by Locke. Feeds to Patterson. Here comes Warren County the other way. Patterson across the timeline, top of the key, penetrates left side to the elbow, dumps to Ray. Ray took about three steps first. Her shot is blocked, and they battle for it out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Warren County as Ray and London Eli battled for that loose ball. Ebony Marshall checks back in. Callis to the bench with a well-deserved rest. She's been a defensive workhorse here in this first half, as have all the Devilettes. And Brooke Bowman set the check back in for Warren County. Wide open in the corner. Patterson, air ball. <laughs> I think that shocked Andrews. She's got Marshall up ahead, gets it to her. Her layup is no good as Frazier came and smacked. And that didn't sound like ball, sounded like skin to me. But no foul call, deflected out of bounds. The ball will stay with the Devilettes. Up by 11 with 2.32 to go here in the first half. What a game, what a first half performance by the Devilettes here at Campbell Brandon Gymnasium. Ebony Marshall on the inbounds, had Eli on the backside momentarily. Now she lobs it to her in the middle. And she took about three extra steps as Iceland kind of got stuck in between, couldn't get control of that ball. And by the time she did, the travel occurred, gives it back to the Lady Pioneers. Here's Lebanon full court pressure. Once again, they do not guard the ball out of bounds, which I think is one of the big benefits of full court pressure, five on four in the open court. Here's Brooke Bowman in the backcourt, double team. Tipped away from behind by Andrews, and lucky not a foul call. They normally call that, but good defense, quick hands by Andrews. Deflects it out of bounds right well, at the Well, that is a table. foul. There's no way you can reach <laughs> around and punch a ball loose like that without fouling. 
Well, here's Burke Bowman right between the rings working on Andrews. She'll drive to the right side of the lane, take it to the baseline, run and layup. No good. Blew another one. And Ebony Morris with the backside rebound. She's in a hurry the other way, dribbling with the left hand. She'll stop inside the three-point line and hand it back off to Andrews. Andrews took a little step before she started dribbling. But nothing more than Warren County's been doing. But unfortunately, the end result.